and welcome back to you all. Today I'm online in Office 365. I want to look at a couple of options that might help you be it studying or everyday life. Maybe you have trouble typing, maybe you have trouble getting your thought process down, maybe it's proofreading back you struggle with, or it could be that you've got loads of interviews or audio that needs to be transcribed. Now remember up here on the right here you've got two options, dictate and transcribe. On your PC or Mac, you only get the option of dictate there. You won't get the transcribe option. It's only online based for the moment. And you're allowed up to 300 minutes a month to be transcribed. I think Microsoft is looking at it to see how when it goes first. And who knows, they might port that onto the apps, onto your PC or Mac. So first look at the dictate options. So you've got ideas in your head you need to get down. Spelling typing might be an issue. So many can occur when you come to typing that really slows you down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this dictate button and then at the bottom of the screen it will start dictating what I say. I'm now testing out the dictation option in Microsoft. New paragraph. Let me try a medical word. Amitriptyline. Full stop. New paragraph. What happens if I speak a little bit quicker? New line. I'm going to speak quicker than I did before. Stop listening. Stop listening will stop the recording for you. Okay, so it's not picking up your voice anymore. So make sure you do that or you end up having text all over the place. That's not bad and I'm not lying. It's the first time I've used it. I've just put it on now online and gave it a go. If I come down to the middle and select settings, Got a few options here. Make sure you obviously choose your correct spoken language there for me. Also, in the settings option, auto punctuation. Now, if you have a look, not done too bad, is it? I said new line at the top there and it's done a full stop. What did I say full stop? Now, proofreading back on here, I don't think you can do online, but it doesn't matter because you can save it and then play it back on your, or your Word app on your PC anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Profanity filter you can choose as well, but I want to come to the right. This selects this option up on the right here. You can type in what you're looking for if you want. But if you come down here, these are the basics at the top there. For example, bold that and start list. We've got all your punctuation here, so if you're struggling. Now, with the punctuation in Dictate, it's kind of hit and miss. It doesn't always put a comma where you want it or a full stop. But it's something to work with. If you prefer, you can say as you're going along or do it after. So the option is yours. Just remember that if I come up to the top, you've got the editor option as well. Bring that open. So that would give you some more support when it comes to doing your essays, assignments, or just general letters. But we'll come back out of there. Let's go back to the option again. I want to scroll down. And you've got really handy commands there while dictating where you can say show help to bring up commands. And before you know it, you'll be flying with it. I said stop listening, but you could just do pause dictation or exit dictation. So I'll let you have a look at that. Now there you could leave them open while you're dictating, so really handy option. So that wasn't too bad. But the one I want to try as well here, we get dictate on your PC anyway, built into Word, but you don't get the transcribe option. So I'm going to try that out now. I'm going to tap on it. Click upload audio. And I think I've got one here on my desktop. There it is. Leadership, the craft of writing. You can see top right hand corner it's now uploading it ready now remember if it's a large file then give it a little time remember you're allowed up to 300 minutes a month for the moment because they want to see how when it goes and as i said i'm hoping they might port this to the apps on your mac and pc that'd be great wouldn't it and as well right here we go so you see the bottom right it says your transcript is saved you can close the pane now look underneath here this is the actual text it's actually done and transcribed. I'm going to click play. Let me immediately uh, clarify things a bit by telling you a little bit about the difference of the University of Chicago's writing program. We're one of, as far as we know, two in the country who takes what we call a top-down approach to writing rather than bottom-up. Every other school in the country, their primary constituency is fresh. That's not bad, is it? I said I just took a random YouTube lecture, just cut 20 seconds out of it and then uploaded it. I didn't test it before or anything. And that's not bad. So now if we look here, we've got the option here, you can add a section to document. So you can put it straight into your document if you want as well. And with the option here, you can even edit it. 
as it transcribed in case there's a few errors. But what I like about it is you can play it back at the top and also edit at the bottom if there's any issues. And remember you've got Dictate to help you with that as well to dictate. So there's a couple of handy options that I think you can have a look at that might be helpful when using Word Online. Thanks for watching.